Somebody said, man, why don't you consider financial services? Why don't you consider the insurance industry? I'm not good on the phone. I don't know how to talk to people. I have no financial background. What? People say no, I'll think about it. No, they hang up on the phone on you. No, I'm not interested. How to get used to people telling you no? No, no, no! You just gotta no. hear it a few times. No, 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 no! See, the more no's you deal with, the closer you are to that yes. <laughs> Never take advice from a broke person. Never take advice from somebody who's already given up on their dreams. So the apprehension sometimes about making phone calls is how do I sound, you know, because I'm nervous and you're, when you're nervous, everybody that's listening to you is nervous too as well. Sometimes you get people afraid of the phone and they end up in the hallway so people don't hear them. So, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see how these guys are doing. Were you spying on me walking inside the hallway? I was. I, I, was. <laughs> I was. I was. I was like, oh look, there's men. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Mm. Mm. We gotta come together because there's power in making phone calls together. You're not isolated. There's energy that you feel from somebody that's making a phone call next to you. They're getting beat up or they're having success. That's right next to you. Yeah, is, is your phone cutting in enough? Because are you hearing like every third word I'm saying? Are you emailing? Are, do I have your attention or, or is, is, a, is your Bluetooth cutting in and out where you're not hearing what I'm saying? A long story short, we've been here with PHP Agency since January 2015. Our first year we made $208,000 helping people. Second year we made $646,000. And last year we made a million dollars. Same because of the When I first started business, I said, you know what, I need to make a change in my life. Here I am, single father, barely providing for my family, my children. I said, I need to do something big. I need to do something special. I need, I need to bring in more money. And since so somebody said, man, why don't you consider financial services? Why don't you consider insurance industry? I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm the worst person to deal with finances. Finances, let alone coach and teach and help other people to do the same. And they said, you know what? Give it a shot. What do you got to lose? What's your alternative? And so I tell you this, here's some of my apprehensions. Here's some of my fears. I didn't have a college degree. I couldn't go back to school and wait three, four years to finally go through a course of instruction to get a diploma, to get a degree, to say finally you're certified to do something. I need to make, my, I need to make money now. And so when, when people said, man, you can, you can figure this stuff out, I said, I, I can barely figure this stuff out. I'm not good on the phone. I don't know how to talk to people. I'm in the Marine Corps. I have no financial background. I'm not used to speaking outside of taking orders and giving orders. What? People say no, I'll think about it. No, they hang up on the phone on you. No, I'm not interested. It just got my juices like jacked as I got all defensive and took things very personally. It wasn't until somebody said, you know what? Why don't you consider working with a mentor? Why don't you consider with somebody that's been there, done that? And until then, I was confused. I felt isolated. I felt disconnected. I felt like I was in an island all by myself. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! But there's something to be said about building a community. There's something to be said about surrounding yourself with like-minded thinkers, like-minded doers, people that want more out of life. I had to get away from the people that were always dragging and bringing me down. I had to get away from people that said, you know what? You know, uh, are, you, are you waiting to get paid there? If you're not getting paid, you're spending all this time not getting paid yet. And to think that these folks have never done much of anything in their life and yet they're dragging me down. Now I said, you know what? Never take advice from a broke person. Never take advice from somebody who's already given up on their dreams. When I decided to buy into that thought process, when I decided to buy into that type of thinking, my life started to change.
together as a family, we go, we're going to go through our ups and we're going through our downs. During those down moments, that's where the devil likes to beat you up. That's where doubt, disbelief, and fears like to beat you up. You never make a decision when you're down because that's a fear talking to you. What I've discovered, if you want to overcome your fears and doubts and your own skepticisms and your own small thinking, is really three C's. Number one, you got to find a community you can plug yourself into of like-minded thinkers that want to be more, they want to do more, and willing to have more. And the second part of that is you want to have control. That you're sick and tired of somebody else having control of your situation. That you're tired of having your back up against the ropes. That you want to play offense, not defense. That you want to move forward and not backward. And the third part about that is commitment. You got to stick to your guns. You don't want to be what we call a jumper. You know, you jump from one relationship to one company, to one church, to one group of friends. You, you, don't want, to, you want to stop jumping. Why? Because jumpers are always blaming other things externally about why they're not getting ahead. When the whole time, and the whole problem exists with yourself. If you find comfort in your commitments and sticking with your commitments and following through with what you say, you're going to find a lot of confidence in your plan of action. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be mighty smart today.